friends uh, welcome to take advice today uh, in this video I'm gonna show you that how can you connect supermetrics into BigQuery nowadays uh, so many external sources uh, are we can get by supermetrics and uh, it is useful uh, easily and so friends in this video we are going to learn that how can you connect supermetrics uh, into BigQuery so let's learn so before start we need to go to a uh, gmail account then you need to open your google sheet just uh, I, I, uh, for testing purpose I'm, I'm taking one uh, blank google sheet as you know guys that uh, now supermatic actually uh, we can get uh, facebook youtube and mailchimp so many different different uh, external sources so after open a Google news Google sheet, then uh, we need to go to add-ons. Then after that, you can see that uh, super matrix. Then uh, launch, launch this one. It will take a little bit time as per your internet connection. So uh, now you see uh, my supermetrics already on. I have already uh, uh, connected with Facebook account, so that's why it's showing me I have so many uh, data here, metrics here. So now you see ad role, ad form, ad of analytics. Uh, so many different different ex external sources are connected with supermetrics. So uh, if you want to extract data from this uh, platform, then you can uh, easily connect uh, by supermetrics. So now you see, I, I I already connected Facebook Insight. Here is my Facebook Insight. Okay, here is my Facebook Insight. Okay, so I already connected. Then I select the pages. Pages, uh, Facebook pages. Uh, what, what, how many pages you have? That that page you can connect. I have already selected some pages here. Okay. Then after that, uh, I choose the uh, date like yesterday or custom date or last week or whatever you want I, I choose yesterday then metrics as per your choice of metrics you can choice then uh, split by I have split it uh, date page name and page ID okay then if you want filter then you can add filter or uh, if you don't want then uh, no need then option you need to choose uh, uh, what you want so all time value or include all published post or whatever I choose and format uh, for Google Data Studio because it is uh, is useful for me because I, my report is connected to with Data Studio so okay uh, after that you need to uh, click on get data table get data to table you can see that here uh, data is processing and now data get into these seats now you see I have already data in my Google seat so uh, one thing friends uh, you can schedule this query also uh, one thing I want to show you that uh, just now I get this result so it will automatically generate one query you see when I open supermetrics query here you can see I have already here one query you see all, all account also here showing and pages also showing dimension also showing now you can see here now you can see that all this this query already created in supermetrics so you can schedule also this query so for schedule you need to go again add on then supermetrics then you see here man uh, schedule refresh and email link so you need to click on that then you just turn it to set your time what time daily weekly monthly whatever then you need to select time as for you, you want then send email then you, you, you choose your email then store sticker so it will it will every day refresh at, as per your time mentioned here so uh, like this type of uh, work you can do daily basis and this way you can schedule your query 
okay this is the query part and now we're gonna connect this field to BigQuery okay so for that we need to go to our uh, Google uh, Cloud Console so I have opened my Cloud Console here I have a different different project here so I choose one project here like HAG ADS then I choose uh, one data set like test one okay test one so test one I want to choice then EC uh, here uh, this seed you need to give a name like I can give uh, FB inside And one thing friend, uh, if you have multiple seed in one uh, 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 Google seed, in multiple seed you have, then you need to define name here. Like seed one, I, I'm giving name uh, FB, okay, FB uh, underscore one, okay. Then if you have, have second seed also, that one I can give FB two or whatever you want, okay, because uh when we connect to BigQuery that time we need a uh, BigQuery always select if you if you if we not keep uh, a name or if we will not mention a name then BigQuery always select first seat so be careful that one so let's connect I have given already name so now I need to go to BigQuery now I select this data set test one then I need to create table create table here now I need to select source source from where from drive okay so I need to select the this source I need to copy from this source and paste here and file format is a Google sheet okay here friends here you need to specify your seat range seat range basically you can give range also like uh, from a2 to whatever or or you can mention this name file name okay so now I'm giving this uh, name to here so that's why I mentioned that uh, you need to specify your uh, different different seat uh, different name. And now uh, destination is ADS. Okay, data set is test uh, underscore one. And you see, friend here, it's it's showing external table. This table is belongs not belongs to BigQuery. So it's showing external table because it's drive. Okay, so that's why it's showing external. If it is inside of BigQuery, then it will show you internal table. Okay, so now I need to give the name table name Facebook inside okay and here's the most amazing thing that schema schema I can uh, do auto select auto detect auto detect when I do then here automatically this uh, uh, header will be selected by uh, BigQuery so sometime what happens sometime uh, one field like this field is in uh, not in uh, integer it is in string so it will automatically uh, take uh, integer format so, so you can mention also here uh, as a text like untick this one and you can write as a text also or you can do add fill add fill add fill then you can write uh, your uh, like date page uh, page id and then you can write uh, assign as a string or integer or whatever you want so now I'm going to do auto select, auto detect. When we do auto detect, then we go to advanced option and keep row one because I already selected that auto detect uh, header. Then I need no need again create uh, header. Then I need to create table. So here I need to click create table. Then you can see that here my table will be created. Now you see Facebook inside created. So you see here my table already created. When I go to table, I can see that schema already. You see automatically it detect that schema. And you see here it's automatically detect and assigned as an integer or float or string, what, what, what value it is. Because it's auto, uh, uh, always pick. For second row, always takes it will see the second row 
what kind of uh, schema it is. Okay, so now we can uh, make a query. We need to go to query table, then select star, remove limit, okay, then run table. Now you can see that the result will be in BigQuery. Okay, now you see, same result here, same result here, I got in BigQuery already. So, like this way, you can connect your supermatrix into BigQuery. And uh, from BigQuery, you can take a different table also. So friends, uh, if you are seeing my video first time, then please subscribe my channel and share this video. And please uh, comment and like. So thank you friends.